Hi, welcome to the course Jumpstarting iOS App Development using CocoControls.com. My name is Scott Felbo and I'll be teaching this course. A little bit of background about me. I'm the founder of Front9 Technologies and we've been developing iOS apps for over five years. When the iOS SDK came out, we started developing iPhone apps. And then when the iPad SDK was released a few years later, we transitioned to developing iPhone and iPad apps. We've also done some Android development as well. Front9 Technologies focus on making apps for various markets. Specifically, we focus on business apps. So we've done some real estate applications, some employee performance tracking applications, and others. We've also done apps for the legal industry. We made apps for attorneys to help with juror selection. iJuror is the flagship app, and that uses Cocoa Controls pretty considerably. It's been key to the success. Front9 Technologies also developed apps for clients such as Volkswagen of America, Deutsch, and others. After this course, you'll be able to find iOS controls for your apps. You'll learn how to integrate these third-party controls into your apps. You'll also be able to learn from other developers with the open source code. It's available on CocoControls.com. You'll also learn how to make apps without reinventing the wheel. So maybe you want to have a text field in a certain way. You don't want to spend days working on it. You may be able to find a Cocoa Control to take care of that for you. And ultimately, you're going to be able to create higher quality apps more quickly, which will help you get more apps developed in a shorter amount of time. So, course overview. So first, we're going to get started with setting up your development environment. That will involve setting up the Xcode integrated development environment. Then we're going to get familiar with CocoaControls.com. Then we're going to start creating an app. So we're going to walk through an actual example of making an app that uses various controls. The next step will be finding controls that your app needs. And then we're going to integrate these controls into your app. We're going to run your app with these new controls and see how it all actually comes to life. Then a big key step is giving credit where credit is due. These are open source controls and we want to credit the authors that have created these apps and their hard work is making our apps easier to develop. Then finally we're going to go through promoting your app. CocoaControls.com offers a nice feature where you could list your app with the controls that you've used. So it's a great way to get the word out about your app. Uh, here are just a few screenshots showing some of the controls that are available on CocoaControls.com. You'll see here, here's a nice calendar view. It's much better than the default calendar view and you could use that if you'd like if you're making a calendar app. Here's another example with a navigation that comes down from the top of the screen. It's very similar to the control center that you get access if you swipe from the bottom of your iPhone now. Here's a nice control for passbook style look and feel. So you see there's multiple cards on the screen and if you tap one you'll get full details just like the passbook app on your home screen. These are just a few examples of some of the controls on CocoaControls.com. You'll see here that there are over 2,000 open source controls as we speak and more and more are added every day. So as part of this lesson you'll learn how to take advantage of this great resource and learn how to develop apps more quickly and more efficiently to make you a better app developer.